Before this morning, Oakland Unified students are getting ready for yet another day of distance learning. The Oakland Unified School District just released the results of its survey on in-person learning. 92% of families with a child in kindergarten through fifth grade responded to this survey. 54% said they want the option of in-person learning for the spring. About 38% said they prefer distance learning. Of those families who want that in-person learning, 63% said that any schedule is fine with them. So let's talk about getting children back in the classroom and so much more in Oakland by welcoming the mayor of Oakland, Libby Schaff. Thanks for being with us. Thank you, Gostia. I know we both want school open because we've got kids at home trying to learn. And what a shame. These kids will never get this year back in their education. We've got to get them back to school. And I commend Oakland Unified for giving families choice. We've done a great job of prioritizing teachers and other school workers for the vaccine. I was at the Coliseum site on Friday where most of the reservations had been for teachers. So we have got to get these schools open. There's a lot of money sitting on the table in Sacramento for schools that are open by April 1st. So I hope this incentive. But Mayor Schaff, this... you, you say that you commend OUSD for giving parents a choice. Oakland parents don't have a choice right now. They can't send their children back to school. We've seen San Francisco, Los Angeles, other large urban districts make that switch and they have start dates. Oakland doesn't. What's the holdup? The holdup is an agreement with the teachers union. And when I say the district, I mean the school district. The Board of Education has taken a very clear position. We have to get schools reopened. You are correct. Parents don't have a choice without schools reopened. They need to get this deal done. Uh, and I, for one, absolutely feel like these schools have got to be opened as soon as possible. You can go onto the district's website. They show all the safety precautions that are in place. All the health plans have been approved by health officials. Our kids are desperate to get back to in-person learning with their friends, with their teachers. And for those who don't feel like they're ready to go back, that will be accommodated as well. And so I have been But what about the governor's plan? What about the governor's plan that gives money to school districts that do reopen? His plan doesn't need an agreement from the teachers union. Do you think the Oakland school district should essentially force the teacher's hand and saying you're coming back on this day? Uh, I believe that that is an option that should be an option of last resort. It is always better when we can get agreement. And there is much that the district and the teachers union do agree on. And it's that last set of details. But if push comes to shove, yes, our kids have got to come first. All right, let's talk about some money that we know is headed our way. Uh, perhaps schools will benefit. There's a lot more in the American Rescue Plan. Give me perhaps the top two things that Oaklanders can look forward to in changing and benefiting from this federal money coming our way. Well, some money is going to come straight to Oaklanders. Those $1,400 checks, small business uh, grants, these are things that are in American Rescue that will go straight to the people that need it the most. But what I am most excited about as the mayor of Oakland is this is the first stimulus package that has money for local governments, cities like Oakland, that have taken huge hits to our revenues, that have had to actually cut services, including desperately needed police services during this pandemic. Oakland is set to get $192 million. Now that sounds like a lot of money, Gassia, but we've got to spread it out over the next couple of years because we don't know how long this recovery will take. I am urging So what are your priorities then? What are your priorities for distributing that considerable chunk of money? I'm very clear about the priorities and I'm urging everyone to call your council member because they will have to make this allocation decision. They should make it as soon as possible. And that is to restore the police services that we had to cut. Uh, people miss their walking officers, uh, the officers that enable us to clean in and around encampments, those sideshows that have been roaring through neighborhoods. Those are things we've got to get our police services back to address. We also have up to 500 employees that were released that now we can bring back to clean our parks to allow us to reopen our libraries and rec centers now that we're in the red tier. So those are my priorities and my biggest priority 
is that we hold on to as much of this money as possible for our next budget that will start July 1st, and that we resist the temptation to spend it on new things until we have restored those services that we had to cut. Mayor Schaff, I, I agree with you 100% on, on the police services, especially on the news this week that a 75-year-old man who was robbed and assaulted right near Lake Merritt died from his injuries. An elderly Asian American attacked again in Oakland. We see it happening in other cities, but when it comes to Oakland, do you think the police and your new police chief are doing enough? Uh, I believe that we need to do more as long as we have any crime or fear of crime. And I do support the aspects of the defund the police movement that really emphasize on investing in mental health, non-police response. We have to do more in those areas as well. But Oakland continues to have the lowest officer per crime staffing of any city in America. So we cannot afford to reduce police services. We've got to restore them. I urge everyone to call their council member and tell them that this is a priority. Have you said have you said to Chief Armstrong, look, can we just get more police officers out there on the streets? I know that two officers have been dedicated to, to, uh, to the Chinatown district in Oakland, but you hear this from Oaklanders all across the city. I just want to see a police officer drive by. I want to be able to work on my bikes in the garage without fear of having someone walk up and rob me in my own home. What about just maybe shifting the resources the police department does have to get more, more men and women out on the street? Gracia, that is a lot of what we did at the end of this year. We did dissolve some special units like a school police unit, uh, which obviously is not very needed right now that schools are closed. Uh, uh, traffic enforcement that uh, the officers are on the motorcycles. And we put all those officers into basic patrol. Those are those cars that you see driving around your neighborhood and that are responding to 911 calls. Oakland has not had adequate 911 response. And actually these operational shifts have improved our response times. But that doesn't mean that we can't bring back those walking officers that people miss, the homelessness uh, unit that is so important for our efforts to try and keep encampments clean and hygienic. Uh, these are all things that the police department does that we are all missing, and especially that sideshow detail. We are all missing that. It's a tough job for sure, being part of OPD. All right, Mayor Libby Schaff, clearly we could talk for an hour about this. I appreciate your joining us as you do every month, and I look forward to talking again with you soon. Thank you, Garcia. Hopefully our schools will be reopened the next time we talk. Yes, thank you, Mayor Schaff. Thank you, Garcia.